So we're in the grocery store and um, this is what meets the eye when you get into a supermarket for most raw fooders looking for food. But in fact, none of this is actually edible even. I mean, apples, you're not going to be able to sustain yourself on apples. They're not the perfect food for human beings. We need tropical fruits. So, but a whole bunch of apples and they're all picked unripe anyway, so they're sour and not tasty. Pears, they're a little bit sweeter, but still not optimal for human beings. Mushrooms, you're gonna try to live on mushrooms, that's not gonna work. Persimmons, okay, that's a good one, but depends if it's picked unripe, then it's still gonna be not that good. Pomegranates look terrible. Uh, kiwis, picked early, no, no taste, no sugar. Pineapple's gonna be sour, picked early. Pies kind of look all right, but you never quite know. It's usually picked early and then it's not gonna be sweet enough to give you enough calories to fuel your activities. Chermoyas, they're gonna be good, I'm pretty sure, but because they keep them in cold storage, it's gonna be, they, they're already, they, they've been damaged. Grapes, picked on ripe. Mangoes, obviously picked on ripe. You can see how green they look. Melons, almost notoriously always picked on ripe. So let's move over here. That's oranges. This is an orange. <laughs> it's yellow and, and green. I mean, it's picked way unripe. And the ones that are picked a bit more ripe, they're still really actually picked unripe. Mandarins, unripe, green, sour. Bananas, picked unripe, but probably your most uh, sustainable fuel source in this whole shop because they're starchy and then they the starch turns to sugar and you'll get your sugar fix, but it's still living on early picking picked bananas, it's just no way to live. We went through the whole shop here and there's pretty much nothing to eat. Nothing to eat. Still, raw fooders all over the world try to sustain a raw food diet just by eating fruit that they find in the supermarket and they all fail. They all fail because you cannot do it. You need tropical fruits, they need to be picked ripe, as ripe, well at least more ripe than they are in the supermarket. So you want to go for local food from local farmers um, it's all about getting the optimal food for human beings and that's like bananas papayas mangoes chirimoyas uh, durins champadocs jackfruit things that are sweet you know teeming with sugar because we need sugar to fuel our cells if we don't get enough sugar we're gonna be hungry it's as simple as that and if we're hungry nothing works you know and we're gonna make bad food choices and we're gonna binge on some kind of crappy food so before you kind of say oh the raw food diet is so difficult tr maybe try the raw food diet because if you're just trying the raw food diet by eating those apples trying the raw food diet by eating these oranges i can guarantee you you're gonna fail miserably okay so get the good food you know that's the number one priority find the right tropical fruits and that again depends on your location because if you're not in the tropics you're not really going to be able to find the good fruit maybe in the summer in southern europe or united states you know parts of the year you might be able to find some awesome fruit that's true but for a kind of average all year round program you want to be in the tropics you cannot succeed on 1500 calories of uh, sour apples a day that's just gonna that's a recipe for disaster so so don't say you try the raw food diet and it failed if you really haven't tried it you know easy to eat crappy food when you're hungry you know have you ever noticed that like when you're really hungry you could all eat almost anything well that's why you want to make sure that you eat enough sweet fruit to stay satisfied so you don't have to binge on crappy foods like oreo cookies and uh, Snickers bars. Here we got the dried fruit section, you know, dates and figs. And that's a survival strategy, sure. You can always get your calories from dried fruit you can't find anything else. But again, dried fruit is not ideal. We want fruit with its water content for optimal health. One of the reasons that it's so difficult to find dried fruit in supermarkets is because it's mass, it's on a mass scale, right? So the farmer needs to deliver like a ton of oranges tomorrow so he has to pick all the oranges on the trees even though they're not ripe because he has to meet the demand you want to eat, eat ripe fruit and 
from the looks of it, there's almost no supermarkets in the world that really have ripe fruit. And when you find ripe fruit, it's like a coincidence, really. You're just lucky. So, yeah. Get connected with your farmers and get connected with your food source so that you can get the best food possible. Because that's the only way you're really going to succeed.